What's up guys, XM360 here, and I have a really cool and unique video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys two different methods on how to bend a laser beam. So this first method is a bit easier than the second method, but it's also a bit less impressive. All you're going to need is your standard laser pointer. I'm using a laser 303. It's a green one. And you're also going to need a large bottle, something like a 2 liter soda bottle, and it has to be empty. And you should also wear a pair of laser safety glasses, that way you don't risk harming your eyes. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut a very small hole using a knife or some scissors, and you're going to do it about maybe ha a little lower than halfway down on the side of the bottle. So you can see I put mine right here. So once you have that hole cut approximately the same size as the one I cut right there, you're either going to cover up that hole with your finger or a piece of tape, and you're going to fill up that bottle full of water, and you're going to leave the cap off, and you're going to position it next to a sink like you see mine positioned right here. Then you're simply going to let that hole be open so that the water flows out just like this and make sure you don't have that cap on because that will affect the flow of water. Once you have a constant flow of water coming out, what you're going to do is you're going to position your laser on the other side of the bottle. And as you guys will see, when I shine the laser through, it's hitting my hand on the other side and it's going in a straight line. However, if I match that beam up perfectly with that little hole where the water is coming out, it'll actually get stuck inside that flow of water and it'll go down into the sink instead of going straight. So this is called total internal reflection. The beam is basically bouncing off the top of the water and the bottom of the water and it's just continuing this process getting trapped inside of that flow of water. And I'm going to show you guys a diagram too that really illustrates it well. So that's all there is to the first method. It's called total internal reflection. And moving on to the second method, this one takes a bit more time and effort and supplies, but it's definitely more rewarding in the end because you can really see the light bending. So to start, what you guys are going to need is a very small 5-gallon fish tank, and you're going to want to use a rectangular one like this. I picked this one up at Petco for like $13, so they're not really that expensive. You're also going to need to have 2 pounds of granulated sugar, and you're going to need 5 liters of water. So you're going to need to be able to measure liters. So they usually sell these little 2-pound bags of sugar. They're very cheap. You can probably get it for a dollar or two. And obviously you guys will also need a laser and some laser safety glasses. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the entire 2 pound bag to fill up the bottom of the fish tank, break up any big clumps of sugar and try to disperse it evenly so that it's all level. And then you guys are going to put in the 5 liters of water, but you're going to want to use maybe a folded piece of cardboard or something like that because you want to get the water to hit the side of the tank so that it gently flows in and doesn't disturb the sugar too much. So you guys will see I have my container of water and then I'm just using a folded piece of cardboard to get the water to hit the walls of the tank so that it gently flows in and kind of leaves the sugar where it is because you want the sugar to stay in a layer like that on the bottom and you want it to just kind of disperse into the water over time instead of just a rough mixing up of sugar and water. So once you put the 5 liters of water in, this is the tough part. you got to wait two days, really. That's how long I wait. I mean, you'll be able to see it a little bit after a couple hours, but if you want the full effect that you see in this video, you're going to want to wait at least 48 hours. And as you guys can see, because I added that water gently, I have that layer of sugar still on the bottom. That's going to dissolve slowly over the 48 hours. And what this is called, this method, it's called a index of refraction. Basically what's happening is the sugar at the bottom is slowly dissolving, causing different layers of sugar water concentration, and that causes the light to act differently in these different layers, so you're going to get the effect that you see right here. It's really cool and really neat to try out, and this would make a really cool science project. Basically the light is going through the lighter concentration areas and higher concentration areas at a bit different rates, so it kind of, it kind of gives it a bending effect. Now one very important part of this is that you want that water in the tank to stay perfectly still during that 48 hours. You don't want it to get shooken up on a tilty table or anything like that because that will mess up those layers. So make sure you put it somewhere where it'll stay perfectly still and it won't get stirred up. Now I'm going to show you guys what this looks like with several different wavelengths of lasers, but it definitely works best with green lasers and blue lasers, 532 nanometers and 445 nanometers. Those are the brightest, the ones that you can see the best and they have the best well-defined line. But anyways guys, that's pretty much all there is to this method. It's called index of refraction, and when you're cleaning out the tank, I would suggest maybe pouring it outside because that sugar water solution can be very sticky and it can get caught on your tank and in your drains, so I would pour it outside and then kind of wash it out in the sink a bit. But anyways guys, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you have other ideas for laser experiment videos that I should try, comment them down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.